In this video, I'm going to show you how to create these infographics like Vox in DaVinci Resolve. So let's begin. Now, first thing we need is a Fusion Composition. And let's drag in a Fusion Composition and head over to the Fusion page. Now over here, we're going to add a background connected to the media out. Now, while you have your background selected, just search by pressing Control Space at the same time. Search for Grid. And this is the grid that we will get. We're going to change some settings. So change the major line spacing to zero, change the row cells to three, and change the column cells to five. And now go ahead and change the zoom to 0 0.5. So this is how it looks. And now let's go ahead and add a fast noise. Connect the fast noise to the grid, and this is how it will look. Change the detail to 10, contrast to five, and brightness all the way to one. Change the scale to five and change the center to 0 0.12. And of course you can play around with this, see where it fits, but this is how I'm going to make it appear. And now let's add in this rectangle and connect it with the fast noise. And you can simply just drag this right here so that we have these lines showing like this. So you can go over to rectangle and you also increase the soft width like this. And let's say 0.3 so that this is the kind of effect that we will get. All right, now let's go ahead and add a background for our text at the top. So go ahead, add in this background over here and also this rectangle. Connect the rectangle to the background and the background to the grid one. Now I'm simply going with a white color for this and in the rectangle, go ahead and change the width to 0 0.7 and the height to 0 0.1 and let's move this right here or let's just change this to 0 0.65 something like that so make sure that this is in the center and also at the top and now let's add the title of this graph so drag in this text and connect it with the merge one and this is the text that i'm going with and the font that i'm using is futura and this will be at Futura Bold. So right here, Futura Bold and the size will be 0 0.04. And the color that I'm going with is something like this. And let's move this right here. And you can always go back to the rectangle to adjust this. So at 0 0.68, this looks fine. All right, so we have the first text done. We're now going to add the text for this y-axis and the x-axis. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and do that. And you can just follow along. All right, so here you can see we have the basic graph done, and now we're going to add our line for the graph. All right, so let's add our polygon over here and right click and remove this, add in a background, and the color that I'm going to go ahead with is this one. Connect these and select your polygon and go ahead and start making that line. All right, and the Order width that I'm going with is 0 0.07. All right, so here we have the basic line of the graph, but we're going to also add in another one. So just make sure to add another polygon and a background and connect these right here. Now copy the polygon one settings. You can simply press Control C to copy and then right click at the polygon tool and select paste settings. And do the same thing for this one background and we have two lines now so i'm just simply going to hide this one for now and let's just work with this first one here so right now let's go over at zero in the polygon one create a keyframe at length and then let's go over to let's say 30 and create a keyframe at length once again but this time at zero we're going to change this to zero so if we see this is how it looks and now let's go over at 20 and go over to the background over here 
And this time, let's add in another rectangle and connect this to the merge one. So over here, we need to just slightly move this up and increase the width from here. So let's go over at 30, create a keyframe at center, and then at, let's say, 10, let's move this out. And now let's go over to spline and then make sure you select your rectangle from here. Select the keyframes and hit S on the keyboard. And let's just slightly move this, both of these in. And let's do the same thing for the polygon like this. So if you play this, this is how it looks. And right here where we have this animation done, we're going to add in another line. And this time what we're going to do is let's go ahead and create a keyframe at this background for polygon one. So create a keyframe at the color section and then one frame later, or we can say uh, at 35 frames, let's go ahead and change this to a more darker color. So something like this. And now let's go ahead and add in a, so make sure you select the last node, the last merge node, and then select this transform. And over here, we're going to create a keyframe at 30, at size, and then at center. And then let's go over at 40 and zoom in and change the X like this. So we are here where the animation is going to start. We're going to add this highlight from here. And if you play this, this is how it looks at the moment. But we're going to add in this line now, the second line that we created. So we're going to start animating that from 40 frames. Create a keyframe at length and go over to 100 and then create another keyframe at length. Now let's go over at 40 and set this back to zero. And right now I'm just going to enable this. So, and make sure that you go over to the polygon and then select this flat over here and do the same thing for this one as well. So make sure both the polygons have set this set at flat, the borders type set at flat. And if you play this, so this is how it looks at the moment. And now we're going to animate our transform node as well so that this moves as this line is moving or this highlight is moving. So we came in at 40 and then let's create a keyframe at 60 or let's say 70. Let's create a keyframe at 70 for size and center. And then at 80, let's move this right here. And then at 90, Let's move this right here. And then at 100, let's move this right here. So let's see how this looks. All right, great. And now for the final thing, we're going to add in a, an ellipse. So make sure you move this transform down and add another merge node over here. And then drag in this ellipse. Drag in this background as well, and then change the color to white. Connect the ellipse to the background and the background to the merge nine. And now go over to ellipse, right click at width, select expression, and then connect it with the height. Change the value to 0 0.02. And let's move this right here. So let's move this right here at 45. Let's go ahead and create a keyframe at merge in the blend. And then at 40, let's change this, or let's say at this value, where this line comes in, let's change this to zero. So if you play this, this is how it looks. And let's go ahead and animate this as this line is basically animating. So we're going, I'm going to do that keyframe by keyframe, but of course we can do the tracking as well. But since this is a short animation, I'm just going to quickly do that keyframe by keyframe. So for this one, I'm going to add this transform node as well. So let's create a keyframe at 45 and at center and then go over at 50 and move this right here. So I'm just quickly going to do this now. All right, so this is done and let's see how this looks. All right, fantastic. And now let's also add a glow. So make sure you select your background and then hit control space and search for 
soft glow. Add this in and this will give you a soft glow for this highlight over here. So let's just zoom in. So now this looks amazing. So this is it. This is how you can achieve this sort of an animation. And if you want to increase the length of this animation of this highlight, what you can do is just go ahead and add in a, just select your transform node and then hit control space and search for keyframe stretcher. Now go over to keyframes and from here, you will see that this is where it starts and where it ends. And this keyframe stretcher over here gives us or allows us the option to stretch our animation. So let's start this one from 30. So we're going to start this stretch from 30. This means that this is only going to affect the ones after 30. So animation after 30, that is going to basically be stretched. All right, so now let's go over at back to our main timeline. And from here, if you play this now, this is how it looks at the moment. But if I increase this, this is how it will look. So basically, the animation will move slowly since we have that keyframe stretcher enabled. So this is just to show you that you can increase the keyframe settings later on. If you think that, okay, this clip is too small or the animation is too fast or too slow, you can increase this, decrease this. It's the same thing. So I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next one.